Hi everyone, this is Jeff Bradbury and welcome to another quick TeacherCast screencast. Today's video is the second in a series of how we're going to be creating a classroom website and today's video is all about creating pages. We're going to talk about how to create a page, how to title a page, and how to order your pages to make things neat and simple. So you can see here that we have our sandbox website up. I have my home page and it says Bradbury Music here which is the default when I turn on the program and what I'd like to do is I'd like to change this to Mr. Bradbury's website and what I'd like to do over here, I'll move my inspector, is I'd like to create some pages underneath of here and when I create some pages you're gonna see that this home button is gonna populate our different pages into tabs you can see that where it says home page, that's the title of our page, and that's represented right here. And I'll show you how to change that in just a moment. So let's add some pages. We're going to go up to new, we're going to click on here, and we have a few options. We can create an empty page with a sidebar, we can create an empty page without a sidebar, we have some photo pages, a blog page, and uh, a few other options here. If we want, we can create an external link or just add some raw HTML. So I think we're going to create an empty page here without a sidebar. That's the second one down. And as you can see, it has an untitled page. And over here, it comes up untitled and it has another, another color to it. The red here is the page that we're not highlighting. And the green is by default the page that we're on. Now, we want to make this page represent one of the classes that we teach, so let's double click on that, and that brings this up, so we can now change the title of this, and we're going to create this page for an English class, so we will type in English, and then that automatically changes the title, and that changes the, the page tab. And let's go through and we'll create a few more pages. We'll do one without a sidebar again. And we will call that math. You can see again, here's the title. Here's the tab. And you know what? Let's create one with a sidebar. And we will call that music. So I'll be teaching English, math, and music. Now here is our sidebar it automatically populates that with a little sandbox icon. Now down here at the bottom we have our URL which we haven't yet told it where we're going to be publishing it yet to which is why this says unspecified but music here is the title now if we want to we can change that we can double click and type in Mr. Bradbury's music website window title will change to music class and meta description this is what websites like Google pick up and really talk about how we're gonna describe this so we will type in here Mr. Bradbury's music class website and we can of course go through the English and the math class Over here, looking at our inspector, we're going to click on this first tab, which is the document inspector, and we're going to name our website. And the first thing that we want to do is it's asking for the author. So we're going to type in Mr. Bradbury. Our language is English. Date font, we, we're going to keep it as a medium, but we can do short, medium, long. Also show the time. Character encoding. Google Tools. We're going to talk about the Google Tools at a later time. That's where if you want to have your search engine optimization going. Let's click over here on the Appearance tab. We have a few options. We have the site title, we have a tagline, a logo, and a footer. Now right now we have our title checked off. Our title is up here. If we uncheck that, there, Mr. Bradbury's website goes away. If we have our tagline, it says a website thoroughly crafted with Sandbox. We can change that to thank you for
for visiting our website. We can click this box here to show a logo or to not show a logo. We can always add a custom logo. And then right here at the bottom where it says Bradbury Music 2011, that's our footer. And we can click here to show the footer or not show the footer. Now right here at the banner tab, it says Design Supplied, which right now this is the banner. Now let me show you a few things how this works. Remember how I showed you the designs? And let's say that we wanted to change the design to this Crimson Royal, oh, you know what, let's go to the clockwork one. Again, that automatically changes our website. You can see our tabs here. Here's our title. Here's our tagline. This template does not have a footer. And if we wanted to, we could add a logo. Now, this is a design specified banner. If we wanted to, we can have image fill. Now, what this does is this brings up a dialog box and we can supply our own image. And every theme has a few different templates for the design of their themes, but for right now we're going to use designed supplied. Let's go back and we'll change this to another theme just to show you some things. Uh, let's try this, um, you know what, let's try this galaxy tab. Alright, here's a nice design. Again, up here we have our buttons to correspond with our websites. We have our title and then we have our tagline. Thank you for visiting our website. We have our sidebar here and then we have our title of our website. Going down on our inspector we have our favorite icons. It automatically populates a favorite icon of the little sand castle but again we can have no favorite icon or we can have image fill and we can choose another image. Let's say I want to have this guitar. There it is, it automatically fills in and when we go to our website it'll show that little guitar logo. If we want we can have some graphical titles and then we can make these graphics sharper or not as sharp. And the same thing goes with our JPEGs. So there you have it. That's how to add some simple web pages into Sandbox. Join us for our next tutorial where we're going to talk about adding content to our website.